I do it for fun. What is the best thing that's happened to you and affected you? I'll tell you exactly what that is. You've heard it here first on Cointelegraph. Not that you need any introduction to who this man is when you look at the best explainer videos on the planet, but just for the folks that are new, just for the folks that don't know, would you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do? My name is Amir Rosik. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I kind of stumbled on this industry about three years ago. I actually had an underwear company in Hong Kong, our neighbors over here, and I sold my shares for that. And luckily enough, I live in Toronto. We have a really robust blockchain community in Toronto. You know, we have a huge Bitcoin uh, crew over here. We have Hyperledger. And I'm lucky enough to know Vitalik's father, Dimitri, which is my business partner in Block Geeks. Uh, and basically, my journey started off the exact same question. It's like, where can I learn more about this stuff? Right? I understand technology. I'm not a developer, but I do understand technology. And uh, the most common answer I got is go to Reddit. I'm like, I fucking hate forums. I'm not going to Reddit. I'm not spending hours. I want someone to just tell me, right? Time is the most important thing to me. Absolutely. Right? I want to conserve my time. And so I realized it didn't exist. I'm like, well, I got to create my own. So that's where Block Geeks comes from. And then uh, I love I love video. I love YouTubing. I've been doing that for like four or five years. And I just do it for fun. Like people think it's, like my, it's my professional thing. I'm like, that's a far from it. Right. I do it for fun. Right. Like there's no business behind it. Like right. whatever I think about, I'm like, I'll, I'll do it, right? But you're helping out so many people in, in, your, in your passion. Yeah. You're helping others discover their passion. Sure. After they listen to you. Sure. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I started YouTubing and uh, turns out people like that format. And uh... what was the most interesting thing that's happened to you since you started your, your series? Sure. Right? Not monetarily, sure. but deep in your heart, what is the best thing that's happened to you and affected you personally after this, after your, your series? Uh, this, this, this dates before I started doing blockchain. For me, I'm a big proponent of education. Right. I never went to high school, I got mm -hmm. kicked out. I started doing business when I was 15 years old. I'm 32 right now, I've had many. Uh, for me, is I love the fact that no matter where you are in the world, with internet connection and handheld device, you can get education for free. So for me, my biggest, uh, love and what illuminates my heart is the fact that people out of their own volition without any authority without anybody telling them to learn they willfully learn by themselves have you and uh, Vitalik yes. thought about building out a school or an educational platform for cryptocurrency? That's what the Block Geeks is about. We're the world's largest online community for training developers. We have 3.5 million visitors a month, 6,000 students right now on Block Geeks. We have three full-time blockchain engineers that are creating curriculum and it's, we're just moving forward. And how do you plan on scaling that, expanding, reaching out to more folks? Uh, it's completely online, so it's agnostic, meaning we don't just focus on any technology. We'll do Ethereum, Bitcoin, Hyperledger, and no matter where you are in the world, as long as you have an internet connection, uh, you can take our online training. What's the biggest challenge you've come across with the online? I'll tell you exactly what that is. <laughs> uh, number one, finding teachers that can teach. Right. And number two, finding teachers that actually know about this space. So that was Mission Impossible. We didn't find anybody. So what we found is very, very smart engineers that have the love of teaching, and we trained in blockchain. Okay. Because it's all video based, right? So we have videographers and they spend every single day making, we make very high quality courses, study at your own pace, right? Bit by bit. Uh, so that's the biggest challenge is finding people who have the capability of teaching. Right. So is there a future in a blockchain based teaching platform that really the end reward is how the student is achieves their uh, cryptocurrency education. Have you thought about incorporating a coin or a token of, of sorts into this educational platform? Not in BlockX. There's gonna be, uh, for example, we're, we're launching Bounty soon, where students with their knowledge that they learn from courses can earn bounties, and BlockX will give thousands of dollars away in Ether per month. Uh, so we're incentivizing students. Plus, we're gonna have a reputation system, non-tokenized, that'll be attached to your GitHub. And we've worked with ZipRecruiter and like big uh, uh, recruiting agencies that with your GitHub code uh, demo that you, we guarantee you a job, right? Uh, for me, I'm big on e-commerce, I'm big on, on SaaS, and BlockX is a SaaS model. We're completely cash flow neutral within two months and completely profitable within three months, right? right. So for us, talking, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Bootstrap, no money raised, all Love individual, that. me, Dimitri, and, and Vlad, our business partner. Uh, so for me, I'm, I care about 
profits in a business. Obviously, business doing good before profits come. People first and profit second. Uh, so for me, I see no need to tokenize block cakes. I see no need to blockchain it. Okay. It actually takes away from the benefit of my students. That's not to say other platforms can come around. Mm -hmm. I think we still have a very long way for something to work like that. Uh, the reality of blockchain, it's slow, it's clunky. For example, if you have an ERC-20 token, you can do seven transactions per second. My business can't handle seven transactions per second. I need hundreds of transactions right. per second. So the reality is that the technology is not capable yet. Okay. And we have a couple of years for this reality to actually catch up with us. Okay. My next question is, who would you ideally like to work with on your platform to better serve your consumer? On our platform, ideally, we're doing something right now like that. We're actually doing big scholarships, so we're trying to work with the biggest companies in the blockchain space, mm -hmm. uh, whether that is L4V, our venture fund, which I'm advisor for, or whether that is like Cosmos, you know, the sidechain, uh, whether that is Blockable, the amazing recruitment agency, or Normative, a massive uh, dev shop that we work in Toronto. But we're launching a huge scholarship for people that can't afford it. Even though we try to make it a, as affordable as possible, it's only $50 a month for all access to our courses, uh, full Q&A support from our teachers, like we try to make as for but once again we're a business right so we're launching this amazing scholarship where like you tell us why you can't afford it tell us what you want to learn and you're in that's that is absolutely awesome when is that launching well i haven't made a public announcement but uh, q1 like january yeah you've heard it here first on coin telegraph but you won't hear it until q1 <laughs> that's right <laughs> you guys got it first yeah Is there anything that you want the world to know mm. right now uh, about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin at 10,000 sure. in December, sure. right? What do you want the world to know about how they should look at cryptocurrency and how they should look at blockchain? I think a great example for this is if we look at history, right? Um, if you look at, there's something called the Gaul's Law where it states that from, if we look at a complex ecosystem like an organism, it never evolved from a complicated organism. It evolved from a single organism. And over time, that single organism became a complex organism. And so when we're looking at like society and we're looking at where do we want to go in the future, most people will be afraid of evolving into a multicellular organism, becoming much more vari of, uh, variable and more advanced. So my advice for people is, no matter who you are, where, you know, whether you're an entrepreneur, or whether you're working nine to five, whether you're a mother, whether you're a father, whether you're somebody in the bureaucratic government, is take your time to just understand one aspect that you care about. Most people try to understand everything. They try to become an expert uh, in, in this aspect. I tell people, understand one thing. Understand that Bitcoin, if you could just understand that Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and a cryptocurrency has these features, that's a huge step forward. Right. Uh, and with that knowledge, you can go down the rabbit hole. Okay. Uh, but the bottom line is, like anything in life, what is reality? Reality is perception of your thoughts, mm -hmm. right? So the story is, like for example, Bitcoin right now, just I think it's like 2,500, last time I checked in coin market cap. That is the story that we told ourselves around the world, and that's the story that people are, ex uh, are accepting as truth. Right. Uh, that doesn't mean how good the technology is. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean the use case of the technology. All that states is that people believe that story. Perception is reality. Perception reality is, is reality. Perception. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. How can we construct a way that the underserved, sure. those who don't have access, not even 2G networks, sure. how can we create a social cause pool almost off of your scholarship sure. uh, idea. How can we create that with all of these companies that are involved with blockchain technology? Well, funny you say that. So something that I want to do, and there's, I have to figure out the reputation system, and we're working on this. We want to build our own LMS, is um, at the end of the day, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a fintech company, right? And I know many companies, and regardless of the blockchain space, is the biggest problem in the tech space is really good developers. And a certification doesn't mean you're a good dev. It means nothing. It's like, well, congratulations, you have a fucking PDF, right? Uh, I want to see your GitHub uh, portfolio. I want to see how many questions you answer on Stack Exchange. I actually want to see the work that you put in, right? Uh, just show me. Show me your, your developer. Show me the code. Dude, dude man. <laughs> you just, now you just made my motherfucking dude. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. Yeah. <laughs>